Welcome to everyone who still has a pulse. I'm glad you're here. I mean, you know, where else would you be? We don't know. But, and again, what you're listening to is episode eight. I know some of you are going, wow, he just pumps out these episodes like nothing. No, it's nothing. Every day I just take a little time. But anyways, those of you who don't know what's going on, episode eight is a series of threes. It's a a writing situation that's just sweeping the nation. And uh, uh, it's getting rid of all the garbage, you know what I'm saying. And uh, so what we have here is uh, three lines. Uh, That's it. That's the rules. You just do three lines, whatever you want to do with those three lines. And you can have sets of four or five, whatever it is. So here's today's episode eight. If you missed the other episodes, go back, subscribe, you know, tell your friends all that Yahoo stuff, you know, send endorphins to me. It's fantastic. All right, here we go. One. Scientists ask, when did humans start kissing for erotic pleasure? The headlines, the Supreme Court, Mitch McConnell, and surrealism. American children poisoned by lead in cinnamon-flavored applesauce. Two. $230 million pier built to feed Palestinians operates 25 days. Failed. The life of heavy screen viewers experience a scarier and meaner world. The EPA has its hands tied, and the Earth takes off its gloves and releases climate. Three. In the news, the continual genocide, endless lies, how much coffee to drink. Books were banned on land, and John Barry McCum built a library at sea. After downsizing health care for years, human health is the casualty. Four. School boards reject experiential learning, doesn't have a test for it. Students know celebrities and brands, few animals, no plants. Teachers stripping online make more money than teaching. And five, the U.S. secretly sent new long-range missiles to the Ukraine and blames Russia. Five strategies to revive lost friendships result in buying of pets. And daily shootings, chicken recipes, and a mermaid parade are in the news. So thanks for tuning in. Pass it along to your friends. You know, spread the word. Because, you know, when the word spreads, you just don't know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying?